Welcome, everyone. I'm E. Giuliano, and you're listening to Tokal Talk. Joining us this episode is Sarah Marie, the international ambassador from Kroll on Mars. And also joining us is the CEO of Kroll on Mars, Ian. Hello, Sarah Marie. Thanks for joining hey. us today. Thank you for having me. And uh, Ian, thank you so much also, also for joining us today on Tokal Talk. It's great to have you on. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you, and uh, I'm just glad to be here. Excellent. Well, Kroll on Mars is uh, stated to be an, an ambitious project that aims to revolutionize the gaming and social interaction industry. Um, so, yeah, maybe Ian, you'd like to give us a little bit more background on Kroll on Mars and what's going on there. Looking to revolutionize gaming, social interaction industry, looking to do metaverse and more. Talk a bit more about that. Yeah, so... Um... My name is Ian. I'm the CEO of Crawl and Mars, and you know we we're a Web three based um, metaverse game five project, and we have like a unique collection um, of NFTs, a, a 730, and we want to make them um, really valuable and really, um, you know, we didn't want to really dilute the supply in, as much. So, you know, we. We made the NFTs interact with the game um, like a play to earn game. And we built this, um, we built this before, you know, we've been building for like 12 months now and we built it on a, on, on the Cronus chain. Um, you know, we've had, we've had a lot of success and we, we have as play to earn game live now. And we also have like a little meta world where you know you can go in for advertising or you can play like it's like kind of grand theft auto role at the minute you've got um open mic you know when you get close to each other you can um you can speak to each other you can interact you know you can sell your art and you know the more people that plays it um it, the, the more better it is for interesting for .com and the cronus place interesting. But okay yeah it's um it's, st it's still in build stage, you know, but we have got it live. Um, and this was just to keep the um, the investors, the community, you know, they needed something. Um, so that is live and it's on the blockchain and, you know, you can enter the metaverse and stuff like that. But the multiverse is the, uh, is the holy grail where we want to go with this. Mm. Okay. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, but you mentioned a couple of times, so you're, You've chosen to use Kronos Chain for Kroll on Mars, which is a metaverse play to earn an NFT platform uh, project. So um, many projects choosing chains other than Ethereum. Why why Kronos Chain for you? Were you involved in that decision, obviously? Yeah, so it was interesting. Um, you know, I, I, I've been in the space a very long time, you know, and it would have been easy to, to do a project on ETH, you know, or or BSC or whatever chains popular at the time, right? Um, but I kind of look further down the line, you know. I kind I try and look um, past. The, I, I'm Cronus. What stuck out to me, although it was when it first launched, it's only it's pretty new, you know. Not many people know how to buy it and stuff like that. But I had a vision and I had an idea that oh, one second, sorry. Um, you know, we we build on this Cronus chain because. Crypto.com is a is a mega platform. Everybody knows it. You know they've got Crypto.com NFT, um, and Crawl and Mars will be featured there in in the next week or so. Um, but we wanted to bring something really valuable and really really good, and you know to to change the industry, not just the Corona space, but you know being on the Corona chain and having such a big big project. You know we're going to get noticed, and and we'll get noticed by some of the mega exchanges like Crypto.com, and you know it's a long-term build, and and I, and I really think Kronos is uh, going to shine. You know they're doing their all right things, right? Okay, nice. Okay, so that's good. That's an interesting uh, way to to look at things, and I, I I get the sense of what you're saying. So so that sounds like a, a nice play. So I hope that goes well, and um, yeah, it's always interesting to hear about. Uh, how choices are made around which chains to use, and and uh, yeah, we're in a we're in definitely a a place where NFTs are are really seem to be thriving. There's news, it seems like daily and weekly about uh, interesting developments. Um, you're doing 
alien ape NFTs. You said there's 730 of them. So there's a limited supply, but you don't, you do, you can use the apes, uh, these alien ape NFTs uh, within the game to earn more rewards, uh, a multiple more of rewards. But if you don't have the ape, you can also still play the game for a fee. Is that correct? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. You know, like, like I said, we, we, we only had the supply of 730, um, but we didn't want to just limit that, you know. So if you're lucky enough to get one of them uh, alien apes, I think there's around 90 left or something, you know, they went, they sold out pretty quick. Um, and, you know, we didn't just want to have 730 people playing the game. So um, there is an in-game pass where you can just go and mint for a minimal free, I think it's like eight bucks or something, 100 crow. And you can mint an in-game pass and you can go and play. And it's like a Star Wars pod racer game. But if you've got an NFT, that kind of boosts your reward. So you can get anything from a 2X to a 4X. But the good thing is, you know, it doesn't pay out in the Crawl on Mars token. Um, we didn't want to damage that chart. So we had an LP um, and it pays out directly in Crawl. So you can play the game. Um, mm. You don't have an NFT and you can earn a standard rate. If you've got an NFT, you can earn up to four times as much playing on a standard NFT. And it's all live, you know, it all pays mm. out. The admin panel's good, you know, I'm paying. Um, I, I, I click a button every day and pay the rewards out. So people are loving it and they're earning crow. Um, so, yeah. Interesting. So it's so so you've, you've found a way to use an LP uh, liquidity pool to... Mm, yeah, to make this work so that you're not using the Kroll on Mars token, but instead you're using something um, which is, let's say, directly the the chain security token of, of the Kronos chain, right? It's the CRO token or coin. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So the reason why we, we chose to do that, um, and the kind of work because like two, three weeks ago, Crypto.com actually tweeted us out. So they never really tweet projects out and... Crypto. Well, I woke up one morning, Crypto.com had tweeted Crawl on Mars and listed our token in the DeFi wallet. So what I'm trying nice. to push for is the, the game DAP to be in the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. And um, there's over a million people that use that wallet. So once we get the game in that wallet, uh, the Crypto.com uh, DeFi side, then, you know, if crypto.com push it and get a million people to use crawl on Mars, they have to a million people have to buy 100 crawl. So it effectively um, boosts their market cap by a, around 30 million. I, I know it's not, not a lot, but in, in, in the long term, you know, I'm, I'm looking further down the line. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, that, the game is not the, the main priority. It's, uh, it's, it's something that people can do now. I didn't want to be another guy saying this is coming, that's coming, and this is coming. You know, I, I actually got it done. It's working. It's on the blockchain. It's live. Um, and people are loving it and earning money, you know, and that's Amazing. how I want it. Amazing. Well, good for you. And and it sounds like you are taking uh, the steps that are bringing you where you want to be with Kroll on Mars and uh, Crypto.com and yeah, definitely looking forward to you uh, continuing in that way because uh, because I, I do believe that the more successful instantiations, the more successful examples of these types of projects working uh, is, is supportive of this whole industry and moving it forward. And that's the beautiful thing, I imagine. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. And, and it's a, a, a cool, um, how do you say it's a cool decision to, to provide that uh, play to earn um, in the crow because yeah the tokenomics of play to earn can be dicey at times so if you're able to to work something in uh, like that that's a that's a cool deal uh, so yeah so so you so you also within there like let's say for example you do get into crypto.com and i'm not trying to get into to more future stuff but just that i would like to to wonder like did you consider yeah if we do have that many users maybe we will mint some more NFTs along the way, or how does that, that look for you um, as somebody who's trying to take a, a, a like a forward looking vision? Yeah, so um, we don't have any future plans to mint more NFTs. We wanted to, to make these ones really valuable. Um, but however, we do, we will be minting new NFTs, but they'll, they, they'll be land. 
so there'll be land for the multiverse. Um, and ah, okay. you know, this is what we're actually working on now because we've already we we, we kind of working with Chainlink. Um, that's another big organization that you know we're a part of. They've tweeted about us, they've put a medium out about Crawl on Mars. You know, we're doing all the right things with the audits. We we got all the all the um, security audits done. You know, we're just building that foundation now. And um, you know, we we've got a P2E game out there. What's keeping the community, keeping the investors all entertained while we um, we we concentrate now um, is on the metaverse. But everybody's trying to build a metaverse. You know, and, and a lot of people just do a downloadable game. You know, but we're we're actually building the metaverse um, and trying to interlink it. So let's say you're in Crawl on Mars's metaverse, you'd be able to jump from a portal to a partner metaverse. You know, and if we stick together as Web three and build together, you, you know, we're not going to have people like um, Facebook Meta, right? They they've got billions and billions of dollars, and they they're coming into the metaverse. Um, Microsoft, they're all putting money, billions of dollars, Google putting it into the metaverse right now. You know, and if we want to uh, succeed and be successful, then in Web3, we've all got to stick together. We've got to build this, you know, we've got to build the uh, multiverse out to make mm. that happen. It's a big challenge, you know, it's a big mm -hmm. challenge. We're ready for it. We've got the team. Respect. Yeah, respect yeah. to you for taking on that challenge because I do I do see the what you're saying is we can – because in some sense, you can paint a future where it's these big, big corporate players putting in billions of dollars, creating the metaverses we use, or it's, you know, the uh, it's the people creating the metaverses that we exactly. use. And yeah, and yeah, and that's Sarah, Sarah Marie, you know, that's maybe where you start coming in too with uh, some, some of the marketing and advertising that, that blends into me to the, to the metaverse. And so uh, what are your thoughts on, on all of that then? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. And also, I, I do think it's a uh, just, you know, coming from the gaming community and the idea that uh, I thought the portals were such a great idea and the fact that everybody would be kind of working together versus one against the other. Um, I just the idea, I feel like it's gives room for just an unlimited amount of possibility. And I think it's going to just be great. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I think so. That's, it's exciting times. Um, and there, you mentioned the community, there's, there's a form of decentralized governance as well for this. There's players are going to be able to vote um, or, or is it only, is it only the NFT holders or is it any players that can be participating in this decentralized governance? Um, so what we wanted to do with the, NFTs, we, we, we are only being a, um, a limited supply. And, you know, like a lot of people will just do 10,000 supply and, you know, dial, we, we wanted to keep us small and we want to keep them, we're gaining them some revenue. So we looked at um, the NFTs uh, having that kind of power um, and also having a VIP area um, where, you know, you all and, and everybody who's got an NFT is going to get a, a plot of free land. And with them two NFTs together, that you'll be able to enter the VIP area and get revenue from sales in the metaverse. Um, you know, whether it's land, whether it's advertising. Um, so we, you know, we we, uh, we want from pretty. Uh, the NFTs are going to do a lot. You know. Cool. So does that relate to the buy and sell tax that I I read about? So the buy and sell tax is, is actually on the token, um, CLMRS. And the the token's trading around, I think it's from about 800 to a million dollar market cap right now. Um, <laughs> it's verified. You know, we got the big blue tick on CMC um, and we got staking for also on the um, Crawl and Mars token for, for a limited time, you know, when... We are looking to governs that in the, the the metaverse and multiverse, you know, and um, the team and Sarah and I, you know, we've we're, we've got a pretty big team, and we're discussing like because there's only a billion supply, so you know, burning it wouldn't really make a difference if we got so big. So, but we have been looking at you know to get certain land that 
you know the 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 afterburn the token to get into make the uh, an alpha an alpha chart on the token and maintain the price goes up and up because we don't mm. intend to be a little project right we want to get out to the masses and this is why we went to chainlink and crypto.com we're going to be putting mm. them this year we'll push them on so nice well uh, that's pretty exciting um uh, Sarah Marie, is there anything you wanted yeah. to talk about in, in relation to that? I mean, uh, I, I just, I'm in trying to think to your of role and, and what you're, yeah. Like what excites you or what, what, what visions yeah. you're having these days around yeah, yeah. The, entering that? Well, the visions I have, I mean, I'm trying to des devise an advertising structure that would work within it. Um, and there's so many possibilities for that. I think the first step right now in my first strategy will be to at least contact some uh, public figures to at least get the word out. It'd be like kind of a sponsor for sponsor. So they would, you know, advertise Kroll and Mars. Um, and then that way we could, um, we would advertise them in the metaverse. Um, so that's what I'm working right now on. And on top of that, I'm trying to get nice. to as many conventions as I can within the United States, you know, the NFT conventions, crypto conventions. Um, so I'm really just trying to get myself out there. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to develop this, this concept of kind of a sponsor for sponsor method. Um, and then nice. that will be the first step. Um, yeah, so cool. I got a lot of hard work ahead of me, but I'm excited nice. about it. And I think it's very doable. And it can be done. So I'm looking forward to it. Amazing. I, again, I like the, I like that uh, you're working to push forward into these new spaces and uh, to bring ideas to people that they, they might not have been considering yet. And yeah. so that's pretty cool. And I, I hope that goes well for you as well. Yeah. Um, you know, there's been a really interesting conversation. I'm, I'm really glad that you were both able to join so Ian, Ian, is there anything else you would want to mention about the project that we haven't covered yet? Um, you know, I think like <clears throat> we have got a lot going on at Crawl and Mars. You know, we we got a lot of utility out there already. What what will keep everybody um, entertained? You know, keep the investors on board. And you know, we Sarah um, coming on, and you know, there's there's a lot of women in crypto and stuff. You know, and a lot of events out there and to, to make Crawl and Mars be as big as it should, you know, and get out to the masses. And this is where, where Sarah comes in, you know, she, she will be attending um, events, you know, and like the representing Crawl and Mars and, you know, the, uh, we're just working together and building that strong, healthy relationship. So, you know, I'm excited to what's um, about to come, you know, we're about to uh, try and get out to the mainstream. So we're, we're just mm -hmm. keeping on building, but, you know, having Sarah on the team has been a great, um, a great portion. You know, it's brought some enthusiasm to the team. So I'm looking forward to, you know, some of these events because we, we had uh, a conversation with a lot of partners, and we are talking about how we can get to more events. And this is where the uh, the big people are, right? They all go to events yeah. and. Yeah. Get them into your metaverse and then you can talk to them yeah. right there, right? That that's can yeah. be uh, some of the, the future fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is difficult though, because most of those big companies who I've spoken with over the past couple months, you know, giving them my information, my idea, all these big, you know, events, they require such a huge amount of money when it comes to sponsor getting sponsored. Mm. Uh, I've had multiple people ask, you know, or tell me, look, the base rate for stage presence and, you know, getting on the VIP access and uh, being able to be in certain conversations and events during the conference. I mean, it's 15 to 20 grand just to have a speaking spot on their stage. So that is one of the things that have been uh, frustrating is a light word to use. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of, I'm trying to maneuver and find new ways to well, hopefully make all the, this happen. Yeah. Hopefully the time at the, the different NFT conferences will help to build more relationships and, uh, and create That's what I'm the steps. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm hoping they, you know, they help the little guys more, um, 
versus, you know, just wanting that big chunk of change. Um, but yeah, so I'm talking to everybody. I'm just nonstop trying to come up with ideas, um, new ways to go about things. And Great. I, I, one of one of them will stick because I'm persistent and a lot of numbers. Know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, we're definitely cool. going to keep in touch. And so anytime you have more updates you'd like to share or join the show, uh, please feel free, Ian and Sarah Marie. Uh, we're excited to hear about Kroll on Mars and look forward to your continued success and growth um, into the far future. All right. It's yeah. been and another, really, a, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing I want to, uh, to mention um, I would love eventually in the future um, to just all the people like you who have been so helpful, your guys' podcast, um, other podcasts that I know of that, you know, are based on NFTs, crypto, Web3. I would love to be able to help those guys who haven't had a tremendous platform. And I would love to make like a home for everybody who just believes in web three and, you know, works really hard in what they do and believes in it. And um, yeah, I would, I just would love for, you know, us all to succeed and work together and just create this nice little world where we all feel comfortable and can be ourselves and we can get the word out and Mm -hmm. just thrive the way I know we deserve because we work our asses off <laughs> and we have been <laughs> yeah. for quite a bit. Yeah. Cheers. So that that's All the right. ultimate goal in my head. Very nice, Sarah Marie. Okay. Well, um, Ian, any last words here before we finish off and, you know, where can people follow you as well and follow the project if they want to participate? Yeah, absolutely. So um, people, they can find us on Twitter and um, we're on discord or best thing to go to crawlandmars.com, um, check out the website, you know, check out the roadmap. And you, you, we have an NFT marketplace. We have loads of that stuff. So people can go on and do some research on us. You know, we, uh, who knows uh, where things are going, you know, these events might happen in the metaverse soon, right? Yeah. Everything's going, everything's going to matter. Yeah. So yeah, there it's, go. Been a yeah. Okay. it's been a pleasure. Um, uh, I just want to thank you for your time, you know, and letting us come on here and speak. Um, it's been good. Great. Well, you're welcome back yeah, anytime. You. Yeah, you're welcome. I appreciate Marie. it Thanks so for... much. And it's always good talking yeah. to you. I, had a, I, I liked our conversation yesterday too. Yeah, likewise. And I'm glad that uh, we could talk again and look forward yeah, to the next too. one. Good. Yeah, thank you for making time again today. Likewise. Okay. Thank you, Sarah Marie. Thank you, Ian from uh, Kroll on Mars. I'm really looking forward to see uh, what's to come. All right, and that's it for now. And we'll talk about that another time. Thank you very much. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you too.